Hi, I'm Betsy Lyons with the Nature Conservancy. We're at Woodard Bay, the site of one of our native oyster restoration projects. Um, and this is the area where you can see we're just starting to pick up um, a lot of the Pacific oyster shell that we put down a substrate. Like this, you know, this is kind of, it's kind of hard to tell. This is sort of borderline like what uh, uh, native Olympia oyster would look like. It's much flatter than the big Pacific shell. Um, this one is a little bit big. It actually, there's a small possibility it could be a Pacific, a baby Pacific oyster shell, but you usually don't see um, Pacific oysters recruiting naturally here. But the um, Olympia oyster is a flatter, kind of, I'd say, usually a little bit rounder, a little uh, thinner in terms of uh, profile. Um, so this year we wouldn't expect to find a lot of na native oyster larvae yet because this was put out last year, probably past the peak um, oyster spawning period. But one of the things we're looking at in, in our monitoring efforts are um, sort of the stability of the shell in the water and the condition of the shell. So what is, is it sinking into the mud? What's growing on it? Um, this is a good example of you see some of the shell that has a lot of barnacle cover. And I think last year there was a pretty big barnacle set throughout the South Sound. So um, that's one of the things that we'll be tracking and monitoring over time is, you know, how does that layer of barnacles change over time? And is it competing with the native oyster larvae? Um, uh, or in, in any way inhibiting it from, from landing on Earth.